So let's say your developers are working on a software project. Everything is going smoothly and they're doing great. They're trying out cool things and adjusting as needed. Basically, they're living their best coding life. But then, bam, a new requirement pops up. What began as a vague request soon becomes a complex challenge as your developer team digs deeper. You've handed them a rule book that says, forget your coding smarts, follow these strict steps. Suddenly, your developer's life is good moment turns into a wait, what just happened situation. They weren't exactly thrilled, but they give it a shot. I mean, did they really have a choice? Months go by, and they're still at it. You're frustrated by the slow progress, and those promised project delivery dates start slipping away. In short, it's a mess. So you decide to tighten things up. You bring in a project manager with an impressive resume to take control. However, he's not thrilled either, because your developers start breaking down the feature into small tasks, estimating each one, and breaking them down even further if the estimate exceeds a day's work. When it takes longer than estimated, he assigns another team member to speed things up. The result? Developers start adding extra time to their estimates, focusing solely on delivering. Refactoring is a no-go. And what comes next? Sluggishness is what follows. Then your project manager starts hiring more developers, mostly people he's worked with before. However, a cultural gap arises between the new and existing developers. Bugs start piling up, and not many are getting resolved, even though the team is growing. The company is spending more money, but the returns are diminishing. Code efficiency drops, motivation dwindles, and valuable team members start leaving. When you begin micromanaging their coding process, the spark of creativity starts fading. If you're always fixated on meeting strict deadlines and sticking to rigid coding rules, the code can become dull and uninspiring. Enthusiasm dwindles, and the true essence of coding creativity fades away. So how do you avoid this situation? Let them take the lead. Avoid excessive management in software development. Set broad goals, let developers be creative, and expect some failures. That's why having a backup plan is wise. And if things go awry, don't just add more rules. Focus on building a team you trust, instead of having a bunch of inactive coders. And that's how you manage your developers. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, you're missing out on a lot. Hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you in our next video.